You're on the air. Step for the future. Well, there's maybe like six people in the whole audience is going to get the Jackie Gleason reference. I can't have one of our carnies the man. Don't disrespect fucking Ed Norton. Ed Norton be getting mad, bitches. You best fucking recognize because the honeymoon is this awesome so Today's episode to Natasha Gray. You can find Natasha Gray on Shadowbait. Um, is it can soda? I only have her episode with her little Oscar. But Natasha Gray is sexy. She's awesome. And she'll be on a future episode of the Oscar Sauce Comics Podcast. Sounds like shop right in West Milford. Those fucking douchebags. It's hot to your town. There's nothing wrong with smoking crack every now and then. I know, I, I said, I, I, uh. A pimp hand of doom soapbox coming up. Soapbox derbies? What's that? Testify? I don't trust, trust me, trust me, trust me, trust me, trust me. Today we're gonna testify. Music, please. Um, this is Adam Wonders, the blind comic pimp, the host of the 
Wait, you're not mentally undeveloped no more? Well, people know we're fucked up in the head. You know, this is the Awesome Sauce Comics podcast. Hope you all doing well. I hope you're having, all having a lovely Wednesday afternoon. To all the comic book fans, I hope you all went to the comic store today and got something good. Um, you know, I'm going to read Batman Annual 2 later. Uh, and uh, see if it's worth the $15 hype that it's going for on eBay right now. Uh, and I haven't read the issue yet, but here's an idea. Now, Axel, this is something like... This whole thing is Batman, Bruce Wayne, and Selena Kyle going on a first date. What's up with that? What's up with that? You know? Thing one, if you want to make the money, 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 on some back issue comics, uh, Batman 612, um, the Jeff Loeb, Jim Lee Hush. I thought it was 612, I thought it was like 613 maybe. Yeah, maybe it is 6, six somewhere between 612 and maybe 613-ish. Um, that could be in the Wizard Zero part of that though, for the story too, for all we know. Wizard Magazine number zero is a great spec play to make the money, 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 money. Because uh, it's part of Hush. There's an, also a uh, Ultimate Spider-Man uh, comic in there that was first in, in that book. Um, but yeah, in the Hush storyline, uh, Selena learns that Bruce Wayne is Batman. So it's pretty key. They they have sex in the Batcave. They suck. They fuck. They go pick a pick a pow, pick a pick a pow, pick a pick a bang, and they bam, slam, thank you, man. Like, you know, pip, you know, they're doing reverse cowgirl on the top of the Batmobile. She's giving them blowjobs while he's trying to figure out what, what Hush is doing on the back computer. I've seen it! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, uh, you know, oh, ever since the rebirth number 24 with the whole proposal and issue, um, 29 or 30 or so with she saying yes and this current story with, uh, 31 and 32, which was awesome, by the way. The Selena Kyle um, Talia fight, but doesn't this this story make great source material for porn parody? I mean, to my to Axel Braun, who's one of my mentors, you know Justice League XXX, Batman XXX, Suicide Squad XXX, Twenty Four XXX, uh, Peter Pan. Peter Pan gets mad blowjobs for Wendy on that, by the way. It's fucking awesome. Um, I know he's up for something at ABNs this year. Um, but th this current Batman story is perfect for a porn parody. You, know, you just make a set look like the Batcave. You know. Have Catwoman suck Batman's dick off. Sure, Batman keeps Viagra in the uh, in the utility bill. Yeah, you know, uh, but that's the hot book of this week. Um, Eternity number two, the high ratio valiant val variant. Um, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it. We're gonna play a play a clip, and then I'm gonna say I'm gonna get something off my chest that's grinding my gears. Roman Ken, my good friend over at CBSI, this one's for you. Because, you know, since you said that the rant I put on the uh, Adam Hughes rejected Betty and Veronica Fight Club variant art, you know, was directed towards you. And because of my good buddy Gary Nessa, um, you know, uh, 
told me not to hold back, which I'm not. <laughs> and then I remembered, I got a motherfucking podcast. Which basically means I can say whatever the fuck I want to say. <laughs> awesome sauce. We're going to get what's on grinding my gears, my lord. Oh, kumbaya. Oh, Lord, kumbaya. Play a clip. Please play a clip. Fucking be doing their chicken nuggets. Didn't I realize that was Tommy Pistol? Yeah, we can do one more. This is the Supergirl XXX parody. Okay, go on. Okay, go on.
Ah, yeah, Axel Braun is a genius. Um, his Justice League movie is better than the actual movie in the theaters. Um, and you should just seek it out. It, it's, it's, it's Axel Braun. It's wicked superheroes. It's fucking off the charts. But, you know, we're gonna get to Earth X in a few minutes. Don't worry, don't worry. Um, but first, um, Adam Hughes, one of the greatest comic book artists of all time, released some images. Is everyone on Twitter or Instagram, some form of social media, of a rejected Betty and Veronica cover. And it's basically, it's a Fight Club homage, and, uh, it looks like Betty and Veronica beat the ever-loving shit out of one another. Like, the eyes are blackened, and there's, they're laying in pools of their own blood. I mean, I tell you this, Betty Cooper's got some nice tits. Yeah. I mean, this ain't Riverdale XXX. The three Riverdale three-way milkshake where Archie's getting his dick sucked off by Betty and Veronica at the same time. Putting an end to the question of who he should, who should he have, Betty or Veronica. As that stupid bastard Archie Andrews doesn't realize, he can have them both. He can have Veronica and Betty spread eagle on his cock. Oh, pick a pick a they're sucking him off like a you know they can dip his dick in a chocolate and vanilla milkshake yeah 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 right in the pops pop tates burger shack in Riverdale bathroom yeah but I was on the CBSI message boards the other day and you know, people fucking lost their fucking cotton picking minds. Oh, this cover is horrible. I'm glad it got rejected. Because lots of little kids look up to Archie and like to read Archie comics. And little kids. And this is predicting violence and blah, blah, blah. At first, I want to say, fuck you. Fuck the horse you rode in on. Fuck your children. And if you need a comic book to be your parent, you uh, then you're fucking pathetic. Um, I am sick and tired of comic books, porn, video games, TV, comedians, whatever the form of the entertainment, getting the blame because, you know, little Johnny son of a bitch or little Sally suck a dick Sally, suck, little Sally suck a dick. I like that. Little Sally suck the dick. Yeah, 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 yeah. Little Sally, she was, she's the queen. Started su sucking dick at age fourteen. Yeah, 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 yeah. So she's not eighteen and working in porn. Cause she catered her daddy's squad. I ain't no fucking rapper, but I like to to, to to address Roman Canned, and I said it on uh, you know on CBSI. I'm gonna say it here on my home platform of the Awesome Sauce Comics podcast. Why can't comic? Why do comics just have to be for fucking kids? Comics can be sexy, they can be perverted, they can be anything we need them to be, and that's the beauty of comic books, asshole. This isn't just for you, this is for anyone. I am sick and fucking tired of One Million Moms, um, the Catholic Church, and I'm a devout Catholic. Uh, I know I'm probably going to go straight to hell for a couple years before I get up to heaven. So what? I'm having fun now. Yeah. But. Stop. Telling everyone how to parent their kids. And just parent your own fucking child. I mean. Who. This. 
very very beautiful rendered rejected cover watch has anyone ever seen the fucking movie Fight Club it's a violent movie testify um more people know Betty and Veronica from Riverdale now um masterfully betrayed Billy Lee Lonehard and Cameron I don't know her last name uh but she's really sexy she, she's Veronica on Riverdale uh you know has anyone even read an Archie comic in the last five years? I mean, gay marriages, Kevin Keller, and you got Cheryl Blossom with breast cancer. Um, you know, didn't Betty Cooper just get hit by a car and be put on, on, on they had to take get, to take her off her fucking tube on life support? But yet. Archie Comics, so wholesome, so for the whole fucking family. Fuck you. Fuck your family. If you can't teach your children right from wrong, and you can't teach them to distinguish reality from fantasy, then maybe you don't deserve to have fucking children, you stupid motherfuckers. Oh. You know, because trust me, trust me, when little Sally sucks a dick, when she turns 18 and she's been like scorned from daddy and she's, she's got daddy issues, she's going to come to the strip club and she'll be dancing on a pole. She'll be in pornography, get, doing a hundred scenes by the time she's 20. She'll be at www.thebunnyranch.com. Great place. It's awesome. Hey, Dennis, how you doing? She'll be working at, at every brothel in Nevada. Because she has daddy issues. Because daddy never loved her. Because daddy wouldn't let her watch the Smurfs because he thought the Smurfs were satanic. Or whatever the fucking stupid ass reason is. Fucking self-righteous, no good parents and their self-righteous fucking bullshit. Maybe if you just cleaned up your own backyard instead of the rest of the world and took care of your own children instead of going, uh, whoo, fast food, fast food, fast food is making everybody fat. And, you know, well, if you ate fast food seven days a week and you ate nothing but hamburgers like you're fucking blimpy from Popeye and shit, what the fuck do you expect? Deserve to have a heart attack and you deserve to fucking die. But hey, if I want to go have a business meeting with, you know, a cute girl, blonde hair, blue eyes, big tits, nice thighs, type of girl that worked on those guys, and we're negotiating a contract for her to be like a cosplayer for Awesome Sauce Comics, or we're shooting the breeze, or she's reading me, uh, you know, Archie number 600, or Archie gets married to Veronica, or. You know, life of Archie number one, which shows you know the you know different marriages and different lives, and is meant for an adult fucking audience. Um, you might want to have like a split, split like a twenty piece McNugget with a Szechuan sauce, which is coming back soon. Rub a dub dub. <coughs> Excuse me. I think I put too much awesome sauce on those Purdue nuggets. Um, but there was a time in America. Where it was live and let live. Where it's different sh different strokes for different folks. Because you can have gurus. Ah, oh, fuck it. I'll just play the theme song. I'll play the theme song. But I'm sick of it. This... I'm tired of people. Oh, these guys said it. Oh my god, Supergirl's tits are big. It's the wrong role model. The best is just send the little girls. Boo hoo hoo. Fuck you. I think that girls who are beautiful at the age of 13 should realize that men are stupid. I'll be thirsty for a minute. You put a beautiful blonde or double D breasts. 
with a nice ass and a nice vagina in front of me? I'll be your puppet. That's right, that's right, young girls. I'm not, do I look like a fucking role model to anybody? To my classmate back at JKTC, Dan, how you doing? Do I look like a fucking role model? No. I'm the, I'm the all-American. Like, man. Yeah. It's over here or there. Um. But just take care of your own kids and shut the fuck up. It's like I said, you used to be living on live. Like, if I wanted to, like, you know, be in the porn and, you know, make some money that way while I'm buying and selling comics and doing my thing and telling goofy goof stories on the internet and all that. And then I was living next door to, like, a, like a ultra-Christian, you know, get married, have kids, you know, be ultra-conservative. We live next to over. Who can just say, hey, how you doing? How you doing? Good, how are you? And peace be with you. Peace be with you. But not these days. Everyone's got an opinion. Everyone's got something to say. Everyone could go... Everyone fucking sucks. You know? Because... <laughs> what did you say, Roman? There's no fence. It's deplorable. Well, maybe you're the perverted one. Because I don't shove my ideas down people's throats. Hey, there's no fence here. There's no fence. Well, you're right. There is no fence here because you're a douchebag. I'm sick and tired. You know, I hope when your daughter turns 18, the first thing she does is film porn. Yeah, I said it. That would be awesome. She'll film porn. The find out that she's had daddy issues since age 12 because you were too busy working four jobs and never had time for her. Never went to any of her recitals. So she goes out at the age of 19, turns her, 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 her 32Cs into 42Ds, starts dancing at every strip club from C to sunny C, and then she does a porn scene. Uh, puts on a clips for sale, and then she starts feature dancing. All because she has the daddy issues. <coughs> I've seen it! That's the reason why you have the tough macho guy who's the quarterback. He's gonna become the town drunk. Because mommy and daddy didn't pay enough attention to him. <laughs> Boo -hoo. Fuck you! Sick of it. Stop telling me how to behave because you don't know how to parent your fucking children. Don't tell me what to read. Don't tell me what to watch. Fuck you. Fuck one million moms. They can suck my fucking dick. If you don't know how to be parents, wear a condom, get your tube ties, get a vasectomy, don't don't give another this planet another another mouth to feed, you stupid motherfuckers. They're on the air to 86. Holy shit. And Dana Plano's still sexy as hell. So it's gonna play our fucking team. Dental Center offers high tech dental care in a friendly, informative, caring, and professional manner. Our new state of the art technology like lasers, ceric, and digital x rays provide you with the best family friendly dental care available. You can trust our pediatric dental care specialist who makes kids feel comfortable in a child friendly <gasps> environment. South Orange Dental Center is also available for dental emergencies, and financing is available. Call or visit online. Experienced care to keep your family smiling. I'm gonna have to check them out. I don't remember this. I'm sure, this is a different joke's fucking theme song? Yeah. 
Okay, go on. You hear that? All you, all you assholes, the, the world doesn't move. The, the beat of just one drop. Yeah, you judgmental assholes. That's when you got people who just want to take things away because they're douchebags and judgmental. Thank you. And that's what we got to say about that. So just be a good parent. Just. Worry about your own fucking kids. You know, don't don't let entertainment be the babysitter or the parent. Do your thing, and just you know, remember, it takes more than one drum to move the world. Testify. No, to the next day. I don't have the agenda for today. What's the fuck attack? Can I help with that you don't know how to work a computer? Can we help with that the Fortnite DC crossover Earth X special was fucking phenomenal? You know, I'm just gonna say that after three years now, they finally got a crossover, crossover to a point where it felt like a moving comic book. Gmail inbox link. Link to check on Facebook. No net link at rent once you. Yeah. Open Yeah, it was just phenomenal. I mean, uh, hang on, we gotta do a spoiler warning. This is awesome and amazing. Uh, I just think that it was awesome. It was amazing. Uh, my top. I'm just gonna do my top five things throughout the entire event. And I'm gonna start with the obvious. We all knew that Barry and Iris were getting married. Um, anyone who reads the comics knows they get married somewhere in the 160s. I think it's 164. And I love the fact that Ebert Dong, Earth One Ebert Dong, is back. In a way, it's Ebert Dong Thon who creates Earth X through his uh, adventure with uh, the Legion of Doom in last year's uh, Legends of Tomorrow. He gives the Nazis the bomb. Uh. First appearance of uh, Earth X the free and the Freedom Fires is uh, Justice League of America, Series 1, number 107, uh, which is a tough book in high grade because of the size. Uh, the MVP acting wise, I'm going to give it to Melissa Benoist. Uh Between her singing Run, Run to You, which was introduced in last year's musical episode. Um, you know, it was fucking s her and I like her rendition better. Um, you know, and the fact when she was Overgirl, Overgirl first appeared, 
Overgirl first appears in Final Crisis numbers. She has a cameo in 2, she first appears fully in 3, and then dies in 7. I like the fact that they kind of merged All-Star Superman, Superman Red Sun, and Earth X Overgirl all in the one thing. Uh... You know, I also dug it that her and Green Arrow and Earth X were husband and wife. Uh, you know, uh, and uh, the death scene was right out of uh, All Star Superman number twelve. Uh, just fucking phenomenal. Uh, but the things that really, really got to me was all the firestorm stuff. Uh, you know, a buddy of mine has the fear that they're going to have a Ronnie Jr. from the, Ronnie from the future come and merge with Jax sometime, uh, soon, which I thought I'd be okay with, but, you know, Martin Stein's death scene was just so emotional, um, it was just great, uh, well, you know, the, the Alex and Sarah having HLA, HLA, hot lesbian action, was sweet. Uh, of course, Wentworth Miller as Citizen Cold. Citizen Cold number one. Um, Flashpoint number one. Grab the San Diego Comic Con variant for that. Um, just a great book. And then, uh, you know, the the twist with Oliver and Felicity getting married, I hope that pissed people off. I kind of like Felicity. Um, you know, uh, just heat wave, heat wave made the wedding. <clears throat> Whether it was him sitting next to all the cops, him trying to piss off uh, Caitlin, to uh, have a female version of Captain Cold by his side. Um... I hate cops and lawyers. And how stupid is Captain saying? You have a member of the Rogues at your dinner table and you don't recognize him. Captain Singh's a fucking idiot. I said it. Uh, you know, hopefully we'll get more of the Ray. And then we're going to get the uh, Ray Freedom Fighters. Uh, you know, animated series on the seed. But who the fuck watches the CW seed anyway? Uh, <clears throat> you know, this was just the event. It was the event, man. CW Arrowverse does comic book television correctly. You know, I also like the fact that, uh, Dominators, they make fun of uh, last year's crossover. You know, uh, I, I still, still, I'm, and there's a lot of theories out there. Don West was the young woman who, who told Barry just not to say, don't forget to say I do. <clears throat> Which, why aren't they going to do it? I really think that Cecile and Joseph's kid is, and this is why everyone needs to start buying their Flash New 52 number zeros now. Daniel West is going to be their child. Alright. Daniel West, the New 52 reverse Flash, will be John Cecile's kid. I'll put a prostitute and pizza pies on it. Yeah! When I throw the, the blowjob lap dance cosplay comic book style slash pizza party. Um, you know, uh, if Cecile and Joe's kid isn't, you know, uh, you know, Daniel West, the new 52 Flash who first appeared in the, you know, Flash Zero from the new 52. The first five people to let me to call me on it will get a free lap dance and a slice of pizza 
Cause I'm the comic pimp, damn it, there is no higher. Suck a little bitches and call me Sire. You are gonna turn the world on fire? Ha! Yeah, but, uh, yeah. I have a feeling we're gonna see the Tornado Twins. But every, everyone wants to see fucking, you know, Bart Allen, Bart Allen, Impulse, Bart Allen, Impulse. First appearance, Flash 92. Um, cameo, Flash 91. Alright. Uh, young, member of Young Justice. Was in Smallville. Uh, but, don't forget about Jenny, Jenny Isaacs. And don't forget about Barry Allen. Also has a granddaughter as a member of the Legionnaires. And, uh... You do have the Legion of Superheroes in this universe now, too, so that's a possibility. Don't forget it. Yeah! But this is awesome. You gotta watch it. It's beautifully done. Beautifully acted. Um, Victor Garber, thank you for being Martin Stein for the last couple of years. You'll be missed. But we do have a multiverse, so he can come back. Uh, what with Miller? He'll be back. He'll be back as cold. Wasn't a big fan of the comic book costume on, on, on screen. Um, you know, but I'm glad they did it as an Easter egg. And one of my favorite lines was, We'll, we'll free the world, Ali. Uh, and, and he's telling Sarah how he's going to change the crusty exterior. But this is awesome. Go watch it. I just want to say I love you guys. I thank you guys for being in my life. I thank you guys for being a be part of my family. Um, thank you for inviting me into your home. Thank you for helping me live my dream. We only get to live a long life, so please go live your dreams. If I can help, comicpimpvip at gmail.com, 201-675-2104. Keep one foot in the gutter, one fist in the gold. Too hot to handle, too cold to hold. I love you. God bless. Keep the pimp hands strong. Why not about Stop recording this.